Health Nuts, welcome back to my channel. I am here about to do another grocery haul. I was trying to think back to when I filmed my last one and I realized that I was very, very pregnant and it was a Farm Joe, Farm, Farm Boy, Farm Boy grocery haul. So I thought I would do another one since it's been a bit and I'm not pregnant now, which is, you know, full circle, look at that. I feel like I've even worn this shirt many times pregnant, so it's kind of funny that I threw it on today. Um, but I'm really excited. I got some um, awesome staples that we've been loving. I'm also like on a roll right now. A video is gonna be coming soon of my meal plan game. So I've been really utilizing, these are just like uh, downloads um, that you can get from the Health Nut Shop. And they're awesome because you can print them out or you can use them digitally. And I got my grocery list, which you can just, I, I laminated mine and I just used a washi marker on it. Um, and then we also have an actual meal planner. And when you grab that bundle, you actually also get like a pre-filled out menu plan as well, just to give you guys ideas. Um, but they're great because they're customizable. You can actually go in and change the grocery items if this isn't what you normally buy so i've been on a roll with that using that meal planning and it's been great we usually do our grocery shopping online matt picks it up and we just went grocery well we matt went grocery shopping this morning so i thought i would share with you guys what we picked up since you've been asking on like what i've been eating lately not being pregnant anymore well this is it lots of veggies let's hop right in all right so this is never in any particular order i try to like group veggies and like cold stuff behind me um, but pretty much um, I've just been focusing a lot on whole foods and like I said we're meal planning now so I'm only buying stuff that I know I'm going to be cooking up that week so that we have way less food waste which has been awesome so over here I grabbed some mushrooms I actually got two kinds because we're going to be making a I have this like creamy chicken um, it's like a creamy chicken rice dish um, I'm probably going to try to get the recipe out for you guys eventually it's one thing to create a recipe, it's another thing to like take the photos and write it. So just bear with me while I'm surviving the first couple months of motherhood. Um, but I have mushrooms for pizza and mushrooms for like, yeah, this creamy chicken dish. And then I am now gonna be doing soups on Sundays. I'm calling it like my soup Sunday. And I got some butternut squash cause that's gonna be like for the base. So I got that. I feel like I haven't bought in squash in a while. Um, green onion, which I got for some, uh, what, are we, what are they called? enchiladas that's what they're called next up i also got some celery and carrots for my soup base and i always like to have organic carrots on hand by the way if you haven't watched my foods i always buy organic video i'll link that here carrots is one of them i feel like the price is so comparable to conventional carrots so i got that i also got some cilantro i usually try to get like one fresh herb for the week and lately actually the last like month it's been cilantro because we've just been using it on tacos and stuff um, i also got a nice big head of some curly kale and i actually haven't bought in kale in a bit this is one of the things i kind of bought but not knowing what i'm doing with it so i don't know i could just like put it in salads or smoothies and i think that's what i was thinking when i added it to my order um, I also got some apples. Apples are a staple here. I will usually have one for an afternoon snack with some nut butter, like almond or peanut butter is really delicious. And you know, I'm breastfeeding right now. So I need like those easy, healthy, quick snacks that I can just go to and gobble up, you know? Um, then I have some cucumbers. I got two, I usually go through two a week. Um, we throw these in salads and then sometimes in smoothies. It's like a weird food to put in a smoothie if you think about it, but it's just really good and it's just another way to get some added veggies. I got two zucchinis. Um, this is for the pizzas, another weird thing to put on a pizza, but yeah, we like put doing like loaded veggie homemade pizzas. So zucchini is great. Also delicious roasted up with a little nutritional yeast on there. I got some avocados that are like rock hard. So I'm gonna probably put them out on my fruit stand to get nice and ripened and soft. And I use that for like avocado toast, for tacos. Um, I think we're gonna put them on our enchiladas this week. Uh, citrus, I'm all about the lemons. By the way, these are organic lemons. They're huge, like massive. I don't know, yeah, crazy. So uh, we got that in limes. Um, I love this for, once again, tacos. There's a theme here. We're really into tacos right now. Every Tuesday is Taco Tuesday in this house. Um, but limes, I also love adding a squeeze into sparkling water 
It's like the, the most healthy uh, soda or pop, whatever you call it, um, that you can make at home. It's delicious. Add a couple drops of ste liquid stevia in there. It's legit amazing. Um, and then in terms of veggies, I also got some organic ginger. I usually add this to my smoothies um, or in stir fries. I always like saying what I'm adding it to so you guys can like think of ideas when you're seeing these different ingredients, if it's something different than what you're used to. I got some greens. I got a big thing of baby spinach. And then this one is just a spring mix. I always get organic with my leafy greens when possible. Like if there's absolutely nothing, I either just don't get them that week or I just get the conventional and I deal with it. But for the most part, I like to get organic. I also got some bean sprouts, which are really great in stir fries. I think we're adding this to like a warm Asian bowl. Um, so that'll be really yummy. I got two kinds of bok choy, baby bok choy and Shanghai, Shanghai uh, bok choy. Uh, so I got that. I got some organic romaine hearts. So basically what I've been doing every single week is I will wash and chop up the entire, like all three heads and I will just um, dry it in a salad spinner and then store it in the salad spinner in the fridge. I usually put it in the downstairs fridge cause it's bulky and it's just been so much easier. Like I'm all about the batch prepping. If I'm gonna cut something, I will cut the entire thing and store the rest of it in containers because you know, it's, we have less time now with a three month old. So if I have time to prep something, I'm gonna make more um, for later. Okay, so for fruit, um, I guess I already mentioned the apples. I also got some bananas and usually I don't buy organic bananas, but lately I have because I feel like they're so comparable in price. And although the skin is quite thick and I don't think you need to buy organic, I wanna support organic farmers when I can. Um, I also got some strawberries, which I haven't bought in fresh berries in a while, mostly because it's winter time, um, but ooh, they smell really good. So I got those and um, I'm probably gonna use them for granola or eating straight as. I was gonna say oatmeal, but I don't usually put fresh uh, strawberries in oatmeal. I like to use frozen and then they like melt right in it's so good over here i got my dairies going on and like dips and stuff so matt got these for him um they're just like the sugar-free danon yogurt packs and he's been trying to um get things like this to stop him from like snacking on too much sugar at night and then i just got this uh, large tub of organic plain yogurt i use this for like yogurt and granola like parfaits but i also use it as a sour cream substitute for guess guess what i'm gonna say our tacos there's the theme like i said but enchiladas this week um it's really good honestly it's instead of buying like sour cream and yogurt and like all these different things that you're not going to finish the rest of it just get one thing yogurt it tastes like sour cream when you put it all together um and then i also got just some straight up white corn tortillas that um, i'll usually put the rest in the freezer that i don't use so that they don't go bad um, I also got some of this fresh uh, salsa. I really like the fresh one. The canned stuff's okay, but once you get like the fresh stuff, it just tastes so much better. So I got that. And then this is an olive um, hummus. Usually I'll do like carrots and hummus, cucumber, crackers, that kind of thing. That's usually what I'm snacking on if it's not apples and nut butter. Uh, unsweetened oat milk. This is a staple in our home. I feel like I don't buy almond milk as much anymore. I kind of miss it, um, but it's usually uh, oat milk uh, for our smoothies, my midnight cereals that I like to eat. And then uh, this isn't normally the brand that we get for pizza sauce, but I think Matt said that they didn't have the other one. Um, this is a fire roasted tomato pizza sauce um, for our pizzas this week. So I'm excited. Um, this looks like a good one though. No preservatives, gluten-free. For like snackies, we're trying not to snack too much because I feel like we're home more at night. It's like bring out all the snacks kind of thing. So we usually try to like limit what we're bringing into the house. So we're le less likely to, you know, eat junk food. Um, but both Matt and I really like these. They're crispy minis, the ketchup flavored. By the way, ketchup is a Canadian flavor. And if you haven't tried it, you're missing out. It's so good. Ketchup, dill, and all dressed are like the best chip flavors and they're all Canadian, which makes me really happy. Um, but one of my favorite chip flavors is salt and vinegar. And I love these pop chip ones. They're delicious. And also I love that the bag is turquoise. You know, it's, it's all, it's in the marketing for me. 
Um, but these are good. They have a good like crunchy, um, that they also have that very like zingy flavor from this uh, vinegar. Cause not all salt and vinegar chips are good. Sometimes they don't have the right like salt and vinegar ratio. Um, but those are really tasty. All right, so for our proteins, we to be honest, we have a lot downstairs in the freezer. I usually buy most of my meats from True Local lately. It's like an online meat delivery service. They're great. I think I have a discount code. I will link it down in the info box for you. Um, that's where we get most of our like grass-fed meat, um, shrimp, like seafood and fish and stuff. They're amazing. And like I said, it gets shipped right to your door. Um, I think they basically are just using like local sustainable farmers, which I love. Um, but uh, sometimes we'll run out of stuff. So Matt got um, some organic chicken breasts for um, the creamy um, mushroom chicken meal and the enchiladas. We're gonna do like shredded chicken in there. I also got some organic tofu, extra firm uh, for the Asian, the warm Asian bowls. I still don't know if I'm doing tofu or salmon because I have salmon downstairs. So either way, like tofu is a great protein option to have at home. These burritos are a great like go-to for lunch, even dinner. Uh, they're by Amy's and we got the black bean, two black bean ones and then one cheddar cheese and they got like uh, rice in them and they're just like a nice quick meal to have and I really like it topped with some fresh avocado on top. I don't make waffles often mostly because we don't have a waffle maker right now but um, these are so good and like usually I'm all about the pancakes. I like making them from scratch. Um, but if I'm not gonna make them from scratch, these are like my next favorite thing. They're so good. My mom kind of got me onto these. She's been eating this brand forever, Nature's Path. Um, but they're really, really good. Highly recommend. And then I'll just top them with peanut butter, sunflower seeds, banana, or some kind of berries. And then pure maple syrup. None of that corn syrup, fake stuff. You need the real, if you're gonna have pancakes or waffles, like get the real maple syrup. Then we have uh, Ezekiel bread, which I feel like I haven't bought Ezekiel bread in, I, I don't even remember the last time. It's been a while. This used to be like my favorite healthy bread. It's great, you store it in the freezer, it's sprouted, and yeah, I just wanted to, I like to swap up my, um, my grains and breads and stuff. Um, I also uh, got some frozen corn. I usually try with corn to get organic, but they were all out, so I just got regular. Um, which is fine. Like I said, it's not the end of the world if you can't get organic everything. I don't because A, I wouldn't be able to afford it. Also, like sometimes it's just not available or it doesn't make sense like to buy certain things organic in the middle of winter when they're gonna be $8 for one cucumber, like not happening. Um, and then for frozen, I got some uh, frozen mango for smoothies. Um, this is just like a Bangkok style vegetable blend. It has like broccoli, carrots, peas, corn, mushrooms, peppers, and beans. I thought that was just a really quick like stir fry, throw together and you're done. Um, pitted dark sweet cherries. These are so good melted in oatmeal or you can obviously make a smoothie. I don't buy a lot of like fake meats. Actually, we just tried the impossible ground meat and that was like, I legit could not even tell that it wasn't ground meat. It was crazy. So I buy those sometimes because I don't eat a lot of red meat. Um, it doesn't really sit well with my stomach, but these are just like crispy tenders. I think they're just like fake chicken. These are just, this is like my form of like junk food. I find it fun. I was like, oh, whatever, I'll try these. Um, dip them in honey or something. And that was just like a fun food. Um, and then I've been really into ice cream, like all kinds of ice cream, all kinds. But I usually go for the ones that are lower sugar. So I got Halo Top uh, chocolate chip cookie dough and then their mint chip. And my favorite, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite ice cream flavors are. Mine is mint chocolate chip and cookie dough mixed together. That's my favorite. I just, I've been doing that for years and I can't like, get away from it, it's just too good. That is everything I picked up. Now, before you go, I wanna remind you guys that we are currently doing a subscribe and save option on healthnutshop.com for our Beauty Net skincare line, which is a all natural toxic free skincare line that I created. Um, it's made locally here in Toronto and it is made with beautiful, healthy skin ingredients and something that I'm really, really proud of. A lot of you guys have already tried out the products and left amazing reviews. Thank you so much for all the love. It's just, like I said, a passion project that I've been wanting to create forever. 
and I'm very proud of it. And I'm excited because we're actually gonna be launching new products this year. Now, if you wanna save 20% off, um, as I mentioned, we have the subscribe and save option. So when you sign up to the subscription option, you can set it every three months, six months, yearly, and you can pick what products you wanna get when. You can, it's super customizable. You can cancel at any time and you will save 20% off. So it's great. You're gonna save money. It's convenient when you run out of your deodorant, you don't have to remember to order it again. And um, yeah, it's a great way to, like I said, save money, it's convenient, and it's supporting a local Canadian business. So I'm gonna have links down below if you have not checked it out yet. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna get this ice cream in the freezer before it melts, because that would be awful. <laughs> okay, bye.